My name is Vic of EU's Market Biz and in this video I am going to share to you some news updates for today so this updates are brought to you by preferred currency dot news okay so without further ado let's proceed so this is the website where you subscribe for $15 a month or $180 a year to get notified of the latest updates on cryptocurrencies okay and also if you want to join initiative Q, you can use my invitation link at the description below and if you want to do social service on the blockchain give feedback and get rewarded in crypto download lumios.io in your favorite app store or in your in favorite google play store and also there's um, this coin dab it dab coin this token is also a very very high potential token so yeah, keep note of this one on your research list right so I'm going to keep that there right so let's go to the news update so why making in-app game purchases using crypto is about to get easier um, a blockchain based platform that enables gamers to make in-app purchases using cryptocurrency has forged a partnership with unity a major game engine giving developers the chance to unlock new revenue streams with lower fees AppCoins offers an ERC20 compliant token which is compatible with some of the most popular wallets on the market and is listed on the top 3 crypto exchanges. In a major milestone, developers who use Unity will be able to accept AppCoins as a method of payment and the company says this could open up access to a market of more than 200 million users with a simple and easy integration in a recent interview with TechCrunch the CEO of Unity John Ricciello um, said that 50% of all games that are being created today use its service as well as being compatible with major platforms including the Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4 they offer a support for ever popular iOS and Android design devices making it easier for developers with a hit on one platform to transfer them to another without the need to start all over again. The agreement coincides with a substantial rise in the number of in-app transactions that are being successfully completed using app coins in the first place, with the quantity of payments increased 590% between September and October. App coins is expecting this volume to increase even further now. It has put pen to paper with unity an array of app stones stores currently accept app coins as a method of payment and they too will become accessible to developers as a result of the tie-up with unity they include aptoid cherry mobile and multi laser so broadening the market app coins believes that its open and distributed protocol has the potential to address several issues that which are Blighting the gaming industry, especially developers who are focused on mobile. In its white paper, the company says that advertising in the main is focused on inefficient middlemen who increase the cost of acquiring new users and generate problem transactions. Even though advertising only accounts for approximately 4% of app downloads to compound the problem. The fees taken by major app stores whenever in-app purchase is made can serve as a deterrent to developers and as it is, barely 5% of users are buying additional items within a game to begin with. Okay. So let's read further. So AppCoins intends to address both 
these burning problems along with the bugbear of approving apps for public consumption, which is currently handled by centralized app stores with non-transparent flows and policies that affect developers and users' trust, reforming the market. AppCoin's protocols works on a different basis than the conventional business model used in games. It helps to guarantee that users who install apps pay attention to it for at least two minutes in a mechanism known as cost per attention. Here, players are rewarded for spending time on a game and can then use the funds they, get, they earn on making the in-app purchases that developers crave. Over time, executives hope that this will help uh, to build the so-called circular economy. Meanwhile, app approvals are based on a system which ranks the reputation of developers. The mobile gaming marketplace has been a major focus for app coins, especially the Android platform, which holds the lion's share of devices sold. Alright, so that is the first update. So the second update is this one. So Plague Hunters brings blockchain gaming to the PS4. Okay. So let's read. Um, Arcade Distillery, new strategy game Plague Hunters has passed Sony's review process. A relatively new blockchain gaming industry is taking a massive step forward as non fungible tokens, NFTs, are making their way onto the PS4. Arcade Distillery is gearing up to launch a new game for the PS4 built around the Ethereum blockchain. So Arcade Distillery, a video game um, development and publishing company founded in 2015 that creates titles for PS Vita, PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch, is gearing up to launch Plague Hunters, a new game for the PS4 built around the Ethereum blockchain. So past Sony's review process, Plague Hunters which is a single-player focused turn-based uh, strategy RPG with some PvP elements is the sequel to the successful Plague Road from Arcade Distillery. This game will be free of charge, scheduled for release in quarter 1 of 2019 and will feature a marketplace out for P2P transactions for of assets. Thanks to blockchain, it has recently passed the Sony review process even though it has numerous elements of blockchain technology. This has been a milestone for any blockchain game to have accomplished this feat. So non-fungible tokens. Like other blockchain games, it seems that the Plague Hunter's in-game assets, which includes the weapons, units, and other items, will be pegged to NFTs. Advisor Liam Glennon coded CryptoKitties has demonstrated the power of NFTs, but there is little utility utility in browser games. And adding on, but bringing blockchain to the console audience was a catalyst. Coding of the description of the Plague Hunters on the Arcade Distil Distillery site: Build your army of hunters, train them, and prepare them for battle. Train your hunters on the blockchain based marketplace with other players. Alright, so those were the updates for today, and they were all brought to you by PreferredCurrency.news and PCN.today. So, PCN.today is also an unupdated uh, news website. So, let's open it so that you can view it. Okay. So preferred currency dot news. So here it is, guys. Okay. So those were game related news, right? So guys, um, before I go, I just want to say that I am not a financial advisor. And everything I say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell crypto. So you must always do your own research before deciding for yourself. Okay, so guys, this has been Vic bringing you the latest news on cryptocurrencies. Signing off. Bye-bye.